Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. In this video, we're gonna go through a really quick tip on how to speed up certain aspects of rendering in Cycles or even Eevee if you want. I'm not even using Cycles X. So we've created this image and it's only taken me 20 seconds to render, you little ripper. So let's start off with, this is the building pack that I've created. And then if you wanna pick that up, there is a link in the description. And as you can see that I've put it as linear. If I go Alt H, what I have already got is a camera. With this camera, I have actually selected the uh, resolution as 4,600 by 1,000. So it's very much a rectangle. The other thing I've also done is put the camera in orthogra orthographic. So if I se select the camera, type is orthographic. So normally it's perspective, but now I've got it as orthographic and I've pressed numpad zero. This is what we've got. So we literally have an image of all the buildings kind of like in a plane. The other thing that I do as well is I'll come into the render settings and into film and turn on transparency. So the background of the image is transparent. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak right now. So from here, what I've done is I added in a whole bunch of layers. Let's just get rid of this box. And if we go into kind of material mode, we can see that it is uh, the same image kind of repeated. Actually, sorry, no, I rotated the buildings 90 degrees and did a second render. So we've got a little bit of variation. Obviously you can scale along the X axis by minus one to kind of flip them around. So if I press numpad zero, this is what it's got. But what I've done is Alt H. I just quickly added in a volume box. So I created a cube. I deleted the default cube and created a cube, went into shading in the object, all I've done is added a principal volume straight into here. Doing this will actually slow down the render, but I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit more prettier. Let's actually, let's do it. Let's go delete and we're gonna press F12 and let's see how quick it takes to render. Um, I do have denoise on as well. So what do we got? Six seconds. So if I press escape, control Z and F12, and having that volume in there will make it um, seem like a little bit deeper, almost kind of not really semi um, blade runner effect. What else can we do with this? Well, we can go into this. So there's actually 28,000 trees in this image. Um, and this was all done with the planes as well. Now I do have a tutorial on how to do this as well in the link in the description. So if you wanna check that out, if you wanna know more about that. But anyway, so the main tip of this video is try rendering out some alphas. So you're rendering only one image compared to all the buildings which have a numerous amount of vertices. I don't know how to check my vertice count, but if we kind of select everything and go tab into edit mode, you can see that we've got plenty of vertices. So if you found this kind of helpful a little bit, please hit this like button and the subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'm trying to hit that 100,000 mark. I'd really appreciate it. If you could.